Bet. Bass fishing at its best. Is proudly brought to you by Yamaha VMAX. Super high output, four stroke outboards. McChrystal Insurance, ensuring your freedom to play. And Imperial Toyota, your lifestyle dealer. Leaving an icy Johannesburg in our rearview mirrors, teams travel through a dark winter's morning into the province of Limpopo. Arriving at the gates of Rista Winter Dam, competitors sign in before heading to the way station. Here teams draw their starting numbers and enjoy a hot cuppa. The logs going into this thick leg of the Gauteng Bet Trail has teams roughneck leading by a mere 58 grams. That's only the weight of a swim bait, which is not much breathing room. After the last two poor tournaments, let's see what anglers predict for today's competition. Look, uh, season's been a bit tough. Uh, we've had a lot of hiccups, lost a couple of rods and so forth during it, but uh, it's not too bad overall. Uh, Pre-fish here was quiet, uh, very cold, a lot of small fish in the shallows and so forth. Um, I'm hoping to pick up a little bit uh, bigger fish in, in the deeper water. Yeah, I have a, I have a good feeling for today. We pre-fished uh, two weeks ago, although the temperature has dropped considerably this, um, this weekend. Um, but we found some good fish and we found them in the reeds. If they're not picked right up in the reeds because of this cold weather, I reckon we're going to just push out to the channels and fish the drops. Everyone knows the fish is up in the river and lucky for Omjohan, he pulled a very good number. So hopefully we will get early in the river. Um, my plan is to pitch all the reeds against the river with uh, jigs, uh, creature baits. So hopefully we can get maybe fourth or fifth in the river. That's the plan, but everyone knows the guy who's going to be first in the river is going to win today. The Ristavinter Dam lay of the lake. Located within the thriving Ristavinter Nature Reserve, Ristavinter Dam is a popular fishing destination with a variety of different structure. Anglers might find their big bass in one of many possible fishing sites. One such favorite in winter is the river, which offers a constant flow of water. Lined with reeds and scattered lilies, the river also has tree stumps and raised mounds below the waterline. The salad bowl gets its name from the large amount of mixed water vegetation all tossed together. Anglers fishing this area will have to tease the bass out of their ambushing spots within this thick vegetation. The main lake near the way station offers the complete opposite structure, along the cliff faces and dam wall where deeper water is found. The McChrystal Insurance rules of the tournament. Two anglers per team, nine hours of intense fishing. 300 mm minimum length per fish, far fish limit, heaviest bag wins, 15,000 rands in cash up for grabs. Big fish today, but big fish. Good luck, Andre. The cold winter chill clearly hasn't put some anglers off, as one by one they are released in order of their drawn tag number. Starting this tournament in ninth position, we join Roger and Dave of Team McChrystal Insurance fishing just outside the river channel, they feel out the morning bite. Let's hope these fish are going to tuck in close to the reed line. In dirty water conditions, that's generally the case. The, not that they stick close to the reed line, they stick close to structure. So we don't have to fish wide out in the open. You can just get close in and see if they're hugged up nice and tight, looking for food. I think uh, in the shallow water, the, a lot of boats moving through the river, the wave pushing up into the reeds, it's putting the fish off slightly, they're probably a little bit unsettled, so we're going to wait for the fish to settle down a bit and um, get back into feeding mode and then start catching a few fish. But also we've got to remember the temperature's dropped substantially in the past few days uh, since we did our pre-fishing two weeks ago. So, whereas the fish we found were very shallow, it could have moved slightly deeper. Maybe the feeding habit has changed slightly, moved away with the bait fish somewhere else, 
If we left you, give it some time to settle down and we're going to find out. Prefish was a lot of fun. Um, we, we caught a lot of our fish in the shadows around the reeds here. Not on this side, specifically on the other side. But someone else is on the other side at the moment, so we can't get in there. And uh, it wasn't spectacular. I found the fish to be in very uh, strategic areas. Definitely not a rampant feeding frenzy going on in Rista Winterdam at the moment. But a lot of guys have moved up the river. So I'm pretty sure there's, there's some good fishing up there at the moment. I've heard of larger fish coming out there, but to get up there with all the boats in this competition is, is pretty tough. It's going to be a, some shoulder batting up there, I think. In high spirits, Wesley and Andre of Team Loomis and Franklin race up river to find their big fish. Let's see what they can do. You just go, boy. I think we're in frog turf. I think I should chuck a frog in. Little wonder boy, froggy. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. We need a net, we need a net. Where's the net? That's a okay, guy, got him. That's a nice fish. That's what we would do, Wes. We would do that fish. Nice fish. He's like uh, No, I like, I like it. About an hour's passed. We just got our first kicker. I'm super stoked. Um, it's about a 1.8. I want anyone to see what I'm fishing, but I've got a little, um, uh, rattling spots on from uh, live target. Um, brilliant lure, it seems to be doing the trick, but um, the bites are few and far to come by. So, uh, yeah, one down, four to go. Let's see what, what, what it brings us. We figured we'd come down to the river and uh, you know, start off with some worms and that because it was so cold, we thought, you know, the fish would be, they wouldn't be chasing much. Um, I mean, hours passed and it, it, not much fish have come out of here and um, you know so I figured let me try something different and throw rattling spots and yeah it seems to be sorting out the story so far. Nothing else we can do Wes we just got to carry on these fish. Come on yo! See you don't want to make too much noise and carry on because you don't let any, everyone know you got a fish. No one saw us land that fish out because I had a good look around Wes. That fish is secret at the moment. I think so. Let's just pull another four or five of them out here. We can pull a, another good one. I'm sure we can be way up there. Bet is powered by Yamaha VMAX. Super high output for struggle outboards. 